33 minute rounds at Vance Amateur Mixed Martial Arts. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. 21 years old, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 146 pounds. With three victories, no defeats, he represents ATT Atlanta. From Atlanta, Georgia, Aaron Kerr. He was on quick. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, 23 years old, standing 5 feet 7 inches tall. He weighed in at 149 pounds. He has six victories, no defeats. He represents Champions Training Center. From Savannah, Georgia, Brendan. Run. I think he's going to respond. Referee in yeah. charge of the action. Here's Here's side side. Side. Man. Here we go. Fight number 10 on our fight card. This is for the NFC Georgia Featherweight Championship. Champion Brandon Moran defending against Aaron Hurd. Take down defended early against her. Oh, beautiful punches by Brandon. Yeah, Brandon came forward to close the, different, the distance very fast on Aaron. Now Brandon perfect in his amateur career so far, hasn't suffered a single defeat, coming off a victory over Zane Wolf, a dominant performance to win the championship, looking to defend his title for the first time here tonight at NFC 94. Yeah, Brandon is a great, great fighter, man. I mean, just from watching this guy's level of comfort, Absolutely. his fighter IQ, you know, he might not be the most athletic, he might not hit the hardest. But he has a fight IQ, and some fighters just don't have that. You and can't also, train that. And also another top 145-pounder in Georgia, Xavier Crenshaw, completely dominated Xavier Crenshaw, oh, which yeah. shows big things. Now we got the clinch battle going on here in round one. A little Referee blood. Referee Nate Mann taking a close look at things. Yeah, we got a little blood coming from the, eye, the right eye of Aaron. Brandon being pretty persistent in this grappling and, and takedown game, trying to get this takedown early. But uh, Aaron showing great takedown defense. And now Aaron with an outside Aaron, trip. Aaron Herb with Very the big nice. takedown on the champion. Beautiful. Right into half, into half guard. He's going to look to pass here. I've had an opportunity to, to train with Aaron, Aaron, and the kid is tough, and you can't sleep on him, bro. Now he put me in trouble a couple times the first time we rolled because I underestimated him. Oh, looking for a possibility. This dark show. Yeah. And Brandon works his way back up. And, oh! and a nice right hand throws Aaron off oh! balance. Big punches from Moran. Yeah, Moran really oh, letting the hands him. go. That's a big shot that landed on Aaron. Aaron needs to make some adjustments here. And oh, a nice kick, high kick. kick. Wow. These guys are fighting and Moran's pouring it on. Big Aaron shots covering up. By Brandon Moran. Moran showing what being a champion is all about. You got to come in here and take it. Aaron Hurd. Splitting his stance, looking to defend this takedown. Yeah, we like to call that James Brown. He's looking for this ankle pick here, and he gets it. Beautiful takedown by Brandon Moran. Looking yeah, to get his back. Yeah, but Aaron reverses. Who's going to come out on top here in this here scramble? Here comes the scramble. Aaron go, Aaron's going Aaron's for a knee. Aaron Hurd going for the submission. <laughs> Well, bad position for Aaron here. That's going to do it for round number one. What a round from both competitors. Yeah, I think uh, Brandon might be a little surprised by Aaron's takedown defense. Aaron's got to move, bro. He's just standing there when Brandon comes forward.
right, we got round number two coming to you live. Live from Tajikistan. Steam coming off both fighters here Big tonight. Hook. Yeah, and Moran comes out with the hands. Brandon Moran not shy with the hands. Right in front of us here. Yeah, got a little James Brown going on. Brandon Moran looking for the single leg takedown here. Yeah, he, he's trying to suck in that single, maybe switch to the high crotch here. Working real hard for this takedown is Brandon Moran. Aaron blinking a lot. I think he really took some damage to that right eye early in the fight. Moran having a hard time getting the takedown, but he finally switches it up to the single and finds success here in the clinch. Yeah, Aaron's looking to recover guard. Brandon moves the top half. Now Brandon Moran on top in yeah. half guard. Aaron's got to be careful not to give his back up here trying to scramble out. A lot of guys are really scared of the mount and they end up turning their back. I'd rather you mount me, bro. Now Brandon <laughs> Moran has been a, a, a scary prospect here at 145 pounds. Aaron Hurd asked for this fight. Yeah. He wanted to fight the best. 145 pounder that I had available was begging me for a fight. The, the kids I gave got him this opportunity, and and he's doing a good job so far. But the champ just the champ's showing why he's the champ here yes. tonight. Some really heavy ground and pound from this top half guard position. Relentless is Brandon Moran. Aaron's got his left arm trapped. It can be a problem when you have these puffies on. Sometimes they get stuck in those crucifix positions. These puff daddy gloves. Aaron looking for a way out, but Moran just showing the, the heart of a champion here tonight. Pushing hard for these takedowns now, dominating his position. Now, as you see, Aaron's working for that underhook. Now he's up to his hip. He's going to try to surfboard that bottom foot out and try to get to his feet, but Moran, very smart, gets control of the head. Oh, I was going to say, he could have finished that, but he let it go. Yeah. It is possible to finish that from half guard. Yeah, it's, it's risky to get swept there in that transition to, to go for the finish, but we've seen it. Now Moran's going to look to get his left knee out. He's going to either pass the side control or full mount. Yeah, Moran's showing some dominance here on the ground. Ten seconds left in round number two. Moran letting the hands go. Heavy, heavy strikes. Big shots from Moran to end the round, and that's going to do it for round two. Yeah, Moran just, I think he hurt his hand with one of those strikes. He was holding his right hand going back to his corner. That's Terrence He's got a hematoma above his right eye. Wow. Yeah, Brandon is just muscling him around now. Brandon with a big takedown on top in half guard early in round number three. A lot, a lot of swelling in the right eye there. Brandon Moran definitely, without a doubt, up two rounds to nothing in this fight. 
Yeah, the, the first round, a lot of wind and air and sails, and, and slowly but surely, Brandon's managed to, to take that wind right out. Absolutely. Aaron Hurd needs to sit on his on his left side here and try and trim and get his guard back. Yeah, I mean, he's holding on to him trying to get a stand up, he but... He really needs to try and get that right underhook. Very, I, I very seldom do we see a stall to a stand up here in the NFC. You, you got to work your way out. Now, Brandon Moran is in full mount, looking to push Brandon, or looking to push Aaron back into the center of the cage and start delivering some ground and pound. Yeah, he's just using tremendous top pressure, even digging the chin into the head and into the swollen eye of Aaron. And here we go, full mount in the ground and pound. Aaron gives his back up. A lot of guys give that back up, and now Aaron's flattened out. Moran's pounding his way to a finish here, possibly. Got both hooks in. Looking to get this rear naked choke. He's got it under the chin. Yeah, that's in deep. Brandon Moran retains his NFC featherweight championship. Dominant performance from Brandon Moran.